Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, back with another video. Um, and today I just want to go over the, actually just the playoffs. Um, I'll be splitting this into into three videos. Um, after after like the play-ins are finished, I may do a quick quick little commentary just about at the play-ins. But I do just want to talk about everything in one quick video, as well as after the play-ins, I will be talking about the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference, like respectfully. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. As of right now, um, the Nets are playing against the uh, the uh, Cavs, and Nets are up. Um, but I saw I saw that the cat. I mean, I saw that the Nets winning playing against Boston in the first round. Um, and I wouldn't, and it wouldn't be a bad thing if they lost, so they could play against either one of these teams and then win play against. Like Miami, because I think that they match up better against Miami, and I think yeah, it'll be much easier than Boston first round because they are playing quite well. Um, and I just and I personally wouldn't want to see Boston first round at all, but um, but I believe that the Nets are just gonna go ahead and wash these Cavs as well as uh, get in that mindset of playoffs already. So playoffs start on the 16th, which is my birthday. So definitely, definitely be ready for that. Um, and I also do want to talk about the Charlotte Hornets and the Hawks. I think that this is a big game for the Hawks just to show that they are a legit Eastern team, like contender. Um, I think they, I believe that they have enough firepower, but they just need to come together or they need one more piece. I could also say that this is a very important game for Trey Young. I think that this is going to finally prove if he is, if he is like legit or not. Um, same thing with this Charlotte team. Like they have a lot of pieces once they get together and once they really find out what works and what doesn't with Terry Rozier, with LaMelo, um, with Bridges. Um, and I'm missing two other names. Like this team is actually quite good and I want to see them like succeed because I, because they're really fun to watch, honestly. Uh, I don't know how far that they would go in the playoffs, but I think that this is a really big statement game for the, you know, for both of these teams. And either one could make it if they play um, when they play uh, 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 play against like the Cavs. Now I don't know if they can beat the Cavs, but I know that they'll give the Cavs a run, a run for their money. I think I think Atlanta matches up better against the Cavs because they just can't stop Trey Young, especially since the Cavs don't have um, have Jared Allen. So I could see I could see Atlanta beating the Cavs if they make it to make it to the final play in day. As well as I could see um, I don't know if I could see Charlotte winning. I just think that they're too young. I just don't think that they're ready. I don't think that their pieces have have all the way bloomed yet, so they're a huge question mark. But I see Boston making out of it, and I could see, I mean, Brooklyn making it out of the plans, and I could see maybe Atlanta possibly making it out. But we'll see on that. Um, tell me what you guys think as well as on the Western side. Uh, we have have the Clippers and uh, the. Well, the T-Wool is playing. That is on later on today. So I'm actually... This is a very interesting game. I could I could see either team taking it home and winning, personally. Uh, I mean, well, as far as like the plan and then being that seventh seed. I could see this being a huge statement game for Minnesota. They have always been somewhat sus, in my opinion, as far as how well they how well that they play. I think that this is a really big game for them to show us that Anthony Edwards, Cat, and D'Angelo can run this team. And I think that this is especially important for Cat because it looks like um, that he is starting to um, somewhat be exposed as far as being a great, a great regular season player, but then not really showing up and in like the playoffs and as far as like the team goes 
they're doing like the same thing as far as not really showing up. Uh, but we'll see, man. And I think it's very interesting for this for this Clippers team. I'm surprised they even made it. Um, but Reggie Jackson and like the rest of the team really stepped up, and I'm and I'm wondering if they can step up this game as well, especially since they got Paul George back in the lineup. I don't think anyone from from Minnesota can really match up that well with with Paul George at his at his max, you know, max scoring potential. But who knows? Maybe he'll he'll continue to do what he has been doing, which is nothing. Um, and just not really show up. But I think it could go either way. I think that the X factor for the Clippers and that has been constantly there with pushing them to win is Reggie Jackson. I don't think anyone expected Reggie Jackson to almost put this team on his back and win 42 games almost by himself um, in some games. I don't think I don't think people expected him like to have this many 40 point games. So who knows? Maybe he'll just have a another game where he just goes crazy. So, but. I personally see the Clippers making it against the uh, against like the T Wolves and being in the playoffs myself. Um, next up, we got got the Pelicans against against the Spurs. Um, so this is go 50-50 in my opinion. I think both teams have their strengths. Both teams have their weaknesses. I think that the Pelicans are a much better team. Uh, especially since they got CJ McCollum, who can just just be like, okay, now I'm finna just drop thirty. Um, even Brandon Ingram, he could he could get you a sweet twenty five, but there's no way that this team should make it should be in the play-ins. But they pushed. They have hardworking players. They have a coach who who can who can coach coach five five six year olds and. Um, still be able to win at least 10 games. So, I want to say New Orleans. I want to say New Orleans play against the the T-Wolves. And I see New Orleans actually beating, beating like the Wolves as well. I just, I just think that Brandon Ingram, we know that CJ McCollum is going to score. But I can see Brandon Ingram just being like, okay, now it's time for me to turn it on and and hoop. Uh, so I can see him, see him, see those two winning these next two must-win games. Uh, and I just think that that duo can just do it with like themselves, honestly. So I can see them making it to the eighth seed. Um, I see them honestly just being bounced out, maybe even a four-one against Phoenix, but. I can see the Clippers and the Pelicans making it out. So just to recap, I see Clippers, 7th seed. I see the Pels, 8th seed. I see, um, and that's in the West. And in the East, I see Brooklyn, 7th seed. And I see the Hawks, 8th seed. Uh, but that's pretty much everything. Tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and thank you for helping me reach the 100 subscribers i really do appreciate it check out the juvie first interview um more to come with that and stream on the 13th and you hear my dog she's saying hi um stream on the 13th of may excuse me um and yeah i'll see you guys next video peace